So here we have the matrix A, which is a 3 by 3 matrix, and we need to find the determinant of this matrix A. And there's a couple ways to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, but what I like to do is I like to copy the first two columns and place them to the right of the matrix. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take this first column, I'm going to copy this first column, and I'm going to place it to the right outside the matrix. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second column. I'm going to copy the second column and I'm going to place it on the right outside the matrix. And after we copy the first two columns and place them to the right of the matrix, notice how we can create three diagonals. If we start at the top left part of the matrix, we can create one diagonal, we can create two diagonals, and we can create three diagonals. And what we need to do is multiply all three diagonals. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to multiply the first diagonal. We have 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. Negative 4 multiplied by 7 is negative 28. Now if we multiply the second diagonal, we have negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. Negative 6 times 1 is also negative 6. Now if we multiply the third diagonal, we have 0 times 2, which is 0. 0 times 5 is also 0. So now we have multiplied all three diagonals going from top to bottom. And now we need to do the exact same thing with diagonals going from the bottom to top. So I'm going to create my three diagonals from the bottom to the top. Here we have one diagonal, here we have the second diagonal, and here we have the third diagonal. And just like before, we need to multiply these diagonals together. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start with the first diagonal. We have 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. Negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. In the second diagonal, we have 5 times 2, which is 10. 10 times 4, which is equal to 40. And in the third diagonal, we have 7 times 2, which is 14. And 14 times negative 3, which is equal to negative 42. And now, after we have multiplied all the diagonals, finding the determinant of this matrix is really easy. The only thing that we need to do is take the red numbers and then subtract all the green numbers. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The determinant of matrix A is equal to all the red numbers. So I'll place all the red numbers in the parentheses. We have negative 28, we have negative 6, and we have 0. And we need to subtract all the green numbers. So I'm going to place all the green numbers inside the parentheses. We have a 0, we have a 40, and we have a negative 42. So now the only thing we have left is addition and subtraction. So the determinant of A is equal to negative 28 minus 6, which is negative 34. Negative 34 plus 0 is just negative 34 minus 0 plus 40 which is just 40 40 minus 42 is negative 2 and now we have negative 34 minus negative 2 which is equal to negative 32 and one quick side note about the determinant before I finish this video the determinant is very useful when finding the inverse of a matrix. However, if the determinant is zero, then the matrix does not have an inverse, or you could say the matrix is invertible. Since our matrix A has a determinant of negative 32, negative 32 is not zero, so our matrix does have an inverse, or the matrix is invertible.